Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0136 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And I'm going to put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But what is a Toyota P0136? Well, it's an O2 sensor malfunction bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer has seen a problem with an O2 sensor. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. If you have a four cylinder, it's not going to matter. But if you have a V6 or V8, then it would matter. So locate uh, the number one cylinder, and that's the site that's having the problem. And there's going to be two oxygen sensors. There'll be the upstream and the downstream. And the downstream one is also called sensor two. It's the one after the catalytic converter. So sensor one would be before the catalytic converter, and sensor two is after the catalytic converter, also called the downstream O2 sensor. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad O2 sensor. It could be in the wiring. And it could possibly be the ECM, but that's pretty rare, so that's not very common. The most common cause is going to be a bad O2 sensor, downstream O2 sensor. And so how would you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0136 code? Well, the first step is to locate the downstream O2 sensor and then examine the wiring. Uh, you can get a meter. Be sure there's no opens or shorts because bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to examine that really good. Be sure the connection is good. Uh, one thing that can happen sometimes with vehicles is that something came up underneath the car and hit the wiring on these, and that's causing an issue. So be sure to examine the wiring, be sure it looks good, and there's no opens or shorts. And once you're sure about the wiring, then you can't go ahead and get another sensor. They're pretty low-cost items. I'm going to jump over on Amazon just give you an idea how much they cost. They're usually less than 20 bucks, so they're not expensive or anything. And so the main thing is after the wiring has been checked is go and replace the sensor. One thing with these sensors is that they can't become rusted up or really corroded. They can't become really stuck on there. So sometimes they can be difficult to remove. It'll depend. Some vehicles will be okay and then some will be a little bit more harder to get off. There's special tools you could buy, but usually if you just have a really solid wrench, you can get them to come off. Let me show you another image here. There's one that's really corroded and rusted up, something like this. You know, that's going to be fairly difficult to get off. It's a straightforward task, but sometimes it could be kind of hard on some of these. There's some videos and some different tips and tricks on how to get these off if you do have a really rusted up, corroded O2 sensor that you need to replace. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of what you can do if you have a Toyota with the P0136 OBD2 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.